Hello and welcome, my dear Scamodlers, to my small hobby YouTube channel. A new month and a new video just for you. This month is going to be all about armor, more specifically, Mang model armor, modern day armor. Well, not quite, and I'll tell you just in a minute why. We're going to be taking a look at four armor models from Mang, and we're going to be taking a look at basically the light armor side of armor. The last model in the series, or the last model in this month, is going to be a Meng model. It's going to be armor, but it's not going to be quite modern, but it's going to be a kitty, a German kitty, a hunting German kitty. Now, the reason that the last model is going to be different is because I couldn't really get all the models that I wanted from our supplier for this month's review. For those of you who aren't familiar with Meng, Meng is a Chinese-based company. They basically make more or less armor, some ships and auxiliaries, but I think that their main focus is on armor vehicles uh, in general. And today's model is this. Nice box. Let's open her up. Hello and welcome back. If you have just joined me, my name is Tomo and today we're going to be taking a look at the Husky TSV Tactical Support Vehicle British Army Edition. Oh yeah, it is a 135th scale model that costs around, you know, 50-ish euros depending on where you live. And when you open the box, you get seven sprues that contain all the necessary parts to make up the model, as well as some extra goodies such as photo edge parts, very nice clear parts, rubber tires, and decals, as well as instructions. And they all just work in harmony. All I can really say about the parts in the box is that they are fantastic. The level of detail and precision needed to produce them is second to none. It's really just a standout great model. Maybe the only thing that's lacking a little bit are decals, but that's just a, such a minor thing that I don't think it's really relevant. Now the footage that you're looking at are of course the highlights of this model kit. I didn't film every single piece because that would just take forever. Because in total, I do believe it's over 200 parts if you include every single piece, including photo etch. And uh, it would take quite a lot of time, but you can immediately see just from this footage alone here how detailed the surfaces are and the details are really sharp crisp they stand out they're not rounded they don't look toyish even these rubber tires just look at them if you wouldn't see my hands in the shot and i'll be placing the tire somewhere on the gravel road or on asphalt you might be tempted to think that these are real as for the rest of the pieces that make up the model look just look it's really, really precise. Even the smallest pieces are made with absolute precision and the attachment points are pretty good actually in most cases and they're on spots where you can easily hide them or sand them down so they won't be giving you too much of a headache when you assemble the model together. There is hardly any flash present and if there are seam lines, they're so small that you basically barely can see them. And if you do happen to find one, it's easily tackled with a knife or a little light sanding. Now the model is not for your typical newbie. It does have a substantial amount of parts and I would recommend this for a more seasoned model builder. The model also gets some very rudimentary photo edge parts, which are not that particularly impressive, but they are here. Here are the decals. They are okay, you can see the, you know, stuff on them but if you take a look at close-up shots you can see the smaller text is blurred not very well readable but again who's gonna read them anyway i guess i've seen better on other kits and um, that's basically all i can say about the decals really you can just take a look at yourself here it's all the text is all smudged anyway well moving along to the manual the manual is pretty substantial it's uh, a booklet an a4 paper booklet that has all the necessary steps to make the model. It is very well defined, it's not congested, the steps are easy to follow, there's not too many parts at any given time, the manual certainly doesn't feel rushed, and the steps in the manual are logical and pretty self-explanatory. Maybe on some steps a little bit too many lines to follow, but you know, those are minor details that, that don't really 
matter that much. The last thing is of course the paint scheme and in this case you get another pamphlet that gives you the detailed instructions on how to paint the model. And that's basically all that I wanted to show you guys for now. Thank you so very much for watching if you haven't. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.